top of the morning to you. I want to make a brief uh, video about uh, the things that we went over Friday about the uh, the importance of staying away from the emergency room. Um, the reason it's imperative is one, because I'm in Dallas, Texas. I have a lot of family here, so I actually have to take initiative and actually go out in the streets and approach people and provoke them about the 1MD. Because if I really care about the people here, uh, their safety should be of concern as well. But <clears throat> just to briefly go over the things that we went over Friday about the ER, um, I learned some things Friday from Daniel Hawker as well. Um, of course, during the winter, it's cold and flu season. Um, a lot of people will be going to the ER for cold and flu symptoms, okay? That's uh, airborne sickness, okay? So if you have a headache or something that's minor, uh, something that the doctor can prescribe for you, you don't have to go to the ER for that. No, you don't. If you're in the bed and you like your fever is going up and you have flu symptoms and you're just too tired and you feel like you have to go to the emergency room, instead of doing that, you could actually go on your computer, talk to a live doctor within 20 minutes, and he'll prescribe your medicine. And you can go to your local pharmacy, send your kids to the local pharmacy and get your medicine. Therefore, you don't have to take the risk of sitting in traffic, going to sit in a waiting room for four or five hours just to see a doctor to get prescribed. Okay. Um, a few things that I did learn about that as well was, um, of course, the cold and flu is airborne. But let me look at the other. The pneumonia. Okay. I'm a Bernie Mac fan. Okay. And I didn't understand how Bernie Mac died of pneumonia. Okay. Until I learned about pneumonia is, is one of the number one um, infectious diseases in the hospital. And the way that happens is when they give you a breathing machine um, to help you breathe for whatever reason. You know, I think that's the first thing they do is put something on your face before you even get an ambulance in certain cases. What happens is the germs get in the machine and they come through and get in your body. OK, the germs cause pneumonia coming from the machines. OK, um, another thing was superbugs. That's a new one. Um, I heard about superbugs in high school, but it wasn't labeled as superbugs. It was called staph. OK, staph is when you um, when you get you can like someone can have staph. OK, that's when their skin is getting ate up and all this crap. If they touch my phone and I pick up my phone, I get staph. OK, um, according to study, the antibiotics, are, they're resistant. They don't work. OK, so that's almost like an incurable disease as well. As far as the study goes that we looked at. Now, there is another form of staph um, called dip. Right here. Diff is fatal due to the fact that it attacks the digestive system. Okay? Um, the digestive system, it can inflame the colon, which makes it lethal. All right? So that's two things you can catch. Also, the urinary tract infection. And you're asking myself, how, does you, how do you catch uh, something that's pretty much commonly known as an STD in the ER? Well, this is what happened. Whenever they do um, a catheter, that's when they stick something in you. Um, for females, you know, it's the other place for males. It's, you know, sounds like it's painful. But what happens is germs transfer through the catheter, forming a urinary tract infection. Now, the things that are vulnerable when that happens are um, the kidneys, the bladder, and the urethra. Okay? So that's the urinary tract infection we covered. You also have the superbugs. There's two of them. Um, the new one that's going around is the one that doesn't attack your skin. It attacks your digestive system. And it can inflame the colon, which makes it lethal. And, of course, we went over pneumonia from the breathing machine. The germs get through there, and the common cold and flu is airborne. Now, um, there is a bloodstream infection. Okay? The bloodstream infection comes from IVs. Uh, same system. If you're, you're vulnerable when you're in the hospital, basically. Uh, the, the machines can have germs in them and they get into your system. You have bloodstream infection. Okay. Um, now, those were the things that we went over Friday. Okay. Now, with the 1MD, you can avoid taking a chance on all it. If you have kids, you cannot put a price on their safety. All right. Of course, everyone is 
worried about Ebola, okay? We don't know about Ebola. We know about Donald Trump. We know about President Obama. We know about politics. But these third world countries with their diseases, we're unfamiliar with them, okay? The government is not taking any precautions. They're trying to, but they're not, okay? Um, unfortunately, we live in a country where, you know, this is the land of opportunity, so people come here. This is going to happen. What we need to do is stay ahead of everyone, okay? Wake Up Now has provided a way for regular people like me and you to live like Donald Trump and the rest of these guys. Okay, could you imagine seeing Donald Trump in the ER? No. Okay, You're not going to see any president in the ER. You're not going to see anybody with money or a good job in the ER because they have personal doctors. Okay, They have a doctor that would do a home visit. Okay, That's what we are offering you. If you're on Facebook or if you're on YouTube right now, you can be seeing a doctor. It's that easy, okay? Um, excuse my glasses just seem completely crooked. But anyway, um, remember, this is more than just someone trying to sell you something. This is something that actually will help you in the future. It's better to have this and don't need it than to need it and don't have it. It's no different than having a spare tire in your car, okay? You need something to guarantee your safety, and it's, and it's reassuring, if anything else. It's reassurance, okay? So I'm not going to be long. It's already been six minutes into the video. I have to head out to Presbyterian. Um, I got a lot of face-to-face. -face, um, how can you say it? A lot of face-to-face -face marketing. I'm um, offense to go provoke a lot of people about the 1MD. I got my... Yay! I got my one shirt on. Yeah, I'm 100%. All right, so I'm going to be studying everything that the company has to offer. Now, the 1MD is part of an Explorer package. I'm not here to tell you about the Explorer package. My concern is about your safety going to the ER. I'm here to tell you about 1MD, which comes with the Explorer package. Okay? Now, there are other things with that Explorer package that will help you save money in everything you do uh, and anything you wanted to do. But... Contact me if you want that information at 747-900-C-A-P-O. They call me Capo on Facebook. Capo Myolanski DiCapio. It's a long story. But anyway, find me on Facebook. That information can be found at doctors info. Wait, doctorsorders.info. Let me make sure I give you the right website for that. I should know my own website, but anyway. Let me double check to confirm it. I don't like to be wrong. The website is Doctor's Orders with a S. Just what the doctor ordered, just like Dr. Pepper. Doctor Orders dot info. D O C T O R S O R D E R S dot info. Okay. You can do this too. If you have family and friends that you want to save and help, go to that website, contact me, and I'll get you started. So the Wake Up Now family, MMT, salute.